Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I want to talk to you about and demonstrate a new screen reader. Now a screen reader is a piece of software that identifies what is on the display or the screen of your laptop or your desktop and it then reads it out. It is used primarily by people who are visually impaired. Now perhaps the most famous example of a screen reader is JAWS which works on Windows PCs and Windows laptops. Other screen readers include HAL and Supernova and in recent years Apple have developed their own high quality screen reader called VoiceOver. Now the rest of this video will actually be talking about a screen reader called Window Eyes. Now Window Eyes is a screen reader that is on a par with the very best in screen readers across the market and it has recently become available for a free download. Now this is quite incredible considering that before this free download Window Eyes cost about $900 or about £600 for someone to buy. And it may state the obvious but Window Eyes can only be run on Windows computers. And so how does this project product go from costing $900 to becoming free and what's the catch? The catch is that in order to download Window Eyes for free the computer, the laptop or the desktop that you're downloading Window Eyes onto has to have a licensed copy of either Office 2010 or Office 2013 and so you can see that Microsoft have obviously subsidized the, the um, cost of this screen reader to make it uh, downloadable for free. Okay, so let's, um, let's have a look at downloading it. Now, to download it, we, let's just make this the right size. We're going to go to, I hope you can see me, um, typing in the address in my browser. So you want to go to the web page windoweyesforoffice.com you can see it at the top here and I'm going to download this onto a laptop which is running Windows 7 and I'm downloading it in via the Chrome browser. So what you do is when you go to the this website over on your right is a purple box which says download window eyes so just select your language, I'm going to choose English obviously and then just click on the download now button. Okay now what should happen at that point is um, the product should immediately start to download but I think because on this laptop I've actually downloaded it before and then I've kind of deleted it so that I can shoot and show you everything that you need to do in this video I think this is the the website is taking me to a slightly different page and at the bottom here on this link download window eyes I'm just going to click on that and you can see in the bottom left hand corner the window eyes for office is starting to download it is about 178 megabytes and so it will take um, three or four minutes to to download so it's a very quick download I'm just going to pause the video and we'll come back to it when it's all downloaded okay so we've paused the video and now we've restarted it and the download has nearly completed if you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen you can see that of the 178 megabytes there we go we're just completing it now okay so when it's finished the download it might start automatically to install or you might just have to tell it to start installing itself here we go and this is a pretty automatic process that it's going to take us through most of the prompts or the questions that were asked just require us to click on yes somewhere in the box so 
So it's just loaded its logo and now it's entered the next phase of the installation. I don't know if you heard that but it's beginning it's actually beginning its, its, its installation with a speech asking us to please wait. So you can see as we're going through this, there's moments where the screen is totally blank. But rest assured that it is installing itself. Oh, there's some flickering. Okay. So the first big question it's going to ask us is do we want to use the quick install function? And for most of us we're just going to click yes. And then we're prompted to put in our name. I don't know if you can hear the voice. There's a, a voice guiding us through this in the background. I don't know, if, don't know if that's coming through on this recording. So I've just put in my name there and then I'm just going to click next. So here we go, I accept the terms of the license agreement and then click next. Okay, it's thinking some more. And here we go. So the voice continues to describe what's happening for those of us who um, can't see the screen or anything. This is a really helpful prompt. Now for those of us who can see, there's a green progress bar going across the middle of the screen which tells us how far through. So we're about three quarters of the way through installation at the moment. And it's moving on through and now it's com nearly completed. And the screen goes blank again, flickers a couple of times. And as I said earlier, it's still installing itself, so don't panic. And again, there's a voice prompting us, telling us if we need it, what, what exactly is happening with the installation. So as you can see there's long periods where it appears as if nothing's happening but rest assured it is being installed and occasionally you then get these boxes which appear on screen. And at the end of stage one of the installation, you'll get this big notice up saying that actually to continue the installation, you need to restart your computer. And then when it restarts, the installation continues. Now at this point, I need to stop this recording 
because obviously I cannot start recording um, after the computer has or when a computer when this computer restarts itself so I'm going to stop this recording now and then sort it out and then the next part of it I will show you the installation process that happens after the computer has been restarted so let's just stop the recording now and I'll see you in a bit okay so we have shut down the computer and it's restarted and automatically um, as you can see in front of us we get a quick start wizard for window eyes and I don't know if you can hear the voice prompting in the background but the screen reader is already beginning to work to tell us what is happening on the screen so I'm just going to click on the next button okay and in this section it's asking me what speech, what type of speech I want and we've got eSpeak or Microsoft speech platform I'm just going to click on the Microsoft speech platform and then I'm going to click on the next button the next um, part of the start wizard is about voice rate um, and I'm just going to leave it as it is at 50 now remember for all of these settings you can just leave them as they are and you can alter them later so I'm just going to click the next button there and again this one here is about the punctuation settings what exactly do you want window eyes to be reading back to you and we've got things like math symbols textual symbols and different uh, yeah a whole range of different symbols they're the options here so let's just I tell you what let's just um, let's just do math symbols at the top so I've selected that and then I'm going to click the next symbol the next part is all about your braille display so if you've connected a braille display to your computer and you want window eyes to communicate with that then what you need to do is f go through this list and find the braille display that you're using if you haven't got a braille display connected to your laptop or your desktop then just click next okay the next thing is called typing echo and basically this is what do you want or how often do you want window eyes to be talking to you we've got different options here speak every keystroke speak only words speak both strokes and words don't speak anything when I type and don't change my current settings so I'm just going to leave that as it is which is don't change my current settings and then click next okay and the next thing is is all about where you want the icon for Windows Eyes and where you want to control it from. We can um, have it in the notification area, which is in the bottom right hand side of the screen, or we can show Window Eyes in the taskbar and on the Alt Tab list, which is over here on the left hand side of the screen. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it in the taskbar and the Alt Tab list and then click next okay and the, I think this is the final part of the quick start guide is all about a, a keyboard layout and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have it because I've got this set up on a laptop I'm going to use the laptop um, I'm going to have it on the laptop option and then here we go we just click on the finish and then the next window just tells us that we've finished the quick start guide and now we can go on and register our copy of window eyes now you can go and do this I've already done this already so there's no point in me doing it again because it just don't work it, it just won't work but at this point you are finished installing windows eyes and you can start to use it so good luck with it
please write to me and let me know how you find it. Do you enjoy using it? Are there some real advantages to it? Are there things that really get on your nerves about it? But just either way, please let me know. It would be great to start a conversation about this. Okay, thank you for watching.